Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi from vlemon.com and this video is a part of SQL Server 2014 tutorial series by me and in this video we are going to show how to install SQL Server in your machine the prerequisite for this video is you have a proper setup of SQL Server 2014 I have SQL Server 2014 32 bit ISO image and I already mount this in my machine and I'm going to use this for my installation so double click to open your CD drive and double click on setup to initiate the installation process click on yes wait for setup so load its initial setup files this is the initial window of installation and from this window click on installation if you want explanation or on each and every option available in this window you can refer my blog i will share the link of my blog in the description of this video click on installation and select new sql server standalone installation now setup is loading the main installation file to install sql server and this is the first window in this you have to provide your product key if you have a product key if not you can install a evolution or express version of sql server and what is the difference evolution is one 80 day trial period and after that you have to purchase a license key for sql server and express is the free version of sql server and it only allows limited features uh, i think only database and it will not allow to use another services like integration services analysis services so for this video i'm going to select evolution and click on next in this screen you have to read the license term read it carefully and if you turn click on i accept the license term and click on next now set up our checking some initial environment and everything is fine so this is skipped now in this video you have to select whether you want to update your sql server around 14 at the time of installation or not but for this video i'm not updating my sql server i'm just skipping the update and click on next so sql server setup would not search for updates okay no problem i have on to scope this wind mm. can either check it again or next to okay i don't want it right now so click on next install setup files now sql server loading the main installations file now this is the environment check done by sql server and for me almost everything is passed except two warnings you can ignore these two warnings but if in your scenario anything is failed then you have to resolve those problem if you facing any issue please leave a comment in this video i will try to resolve it as soon as possible click on next and setup role i am installing all features with default because i am in installing default instance of sql server and click on next what this done it automatic select all the available option in this so see it it is selecting each and everything and everything is selected now if you want to change your installation directly you can change it mm, but 
I'm already mentioned that I am going to install with default settings so click on next now this is my default instance of sql server if you want to change any instance name you can change it like development environment yeah my dev 14 anything you want but uh, for this video i am going to install default default instance and click on next to install default instance now server configuration do not change anything here and collision you can change the collision uh, but for this video i am going to not changing anything i am just using default and if you want to know what is collision collision is just use for the language which use uh, language used by sql server and here you can also set whether caps lock and init cap is required or not uh, i'm not going to discuss more for collation right now if you want what is collation you can check my video on collation click on next now database engine configuration in this i am going to add my current user okay no problem it is already added and i am going to click on mix mode and i am going to give password let's say one two three four five six one two three four five six now what is this mm, if you check this you are not able to log in with sql server authentication uh, you have to always use windows authentic authentication mode to log in sql server database in mix mode you can create a new users sql server user and then you can use those user to connect sql server database and this password is sql server administrator password sa account username is sa and its password you have to type the password now click on next and in this again i am going to use add current user and click on next for reporting services install and configure click on next specify the user permission or distributor again i am going to add current user for everything because i want my current user is admin in each and every available option here so click on next controller name i will explain the controller name later but for the time being let's say my controller name is mayak click on next now this is the summary of installation and if you think anything is wrong you can go back and change if something is wrong now for this for me everything is fine and i am clicking on install now your main installation is started you have to wait for completion of this progress bar and I'm not going to wait till it is completed for I'm going to pause this video and I will back when it is completed so pausing this video so hello friends i am back and i think the installation is almost completed so let me check my recording is on okay my installation is almost complete and i am waiting 
for the success window of SQL Server 2014 and almost done only few things is remaining Server. Why not pause video once? Okay, I am again pausing the video and I will back when it's done completely. So I'm going to pause it again. So finally the installation is completed and here is the success every component uh, component is installed successfully if you found something here status other than succeeded then you can share the status or with error message I will try my best to resolve those error and for this video everything is done now just check whether your installation is what your SQL Server installed properly or not just open SQL Server Management Studio and if you want to know how to open SQL Server Management Studio you can refer my next video for the same let me check my recording is on okay so my SQL Server is installed successfully. SQL Server all apps. Just for environment information, I install SQL Server in my laptop with OS Windows 10, and I love the new window because start menu is back and here is the SQL Server 2014 installation directory uh, you can also click on this to open your SQL Server and Studio and I'm going to connect so my SQL Server connect successfully and let's execute a query Okay, select hello world. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend. In my next video, I'm going to show how to attach sample database. I'm going to attach adventure work database. So for this video that's it and see you again in my next video thank you for watching and bye